there are, in fact, in this crisis, uh, some aspects that are new. First of all, because it's the first crisis of globalization age, where we have seen interconnection, and we have the crisis was originated at the center of the financial system. Mm. But in fact, there is, and is creating a sharp contraction of global demand. And trade, by the way, trade is the first time for 25 years that had such a sharp uh, decline, almost eight nine, to nine yeah, percent, nine percent. Yeah. And so, and this is new. I personally believe, and it's not only my personal opinion, it's analysis of the commission, that without addressing financial problems, namely the so-called impaired assets, we will not get out of this. So we do need a cleaning of the banking system. Because when we speak with all the companies, I'm sure that Ernest and Francier and most of the business representatives here <coughs> agree, and I've been meeting many of them all over Europe, what, has, what is the problem they tell? Me? There are two main problems. Declining demand and a credit crunch. Mm -hmm. Even very good companies cannot get the credit at necessary conditions. That is why we need to address also the issue of impaired assets. By the way, we are very much hoping that this American plan will now work and produce concrete results. I personally believe that this should be one of the most important topics of G20. How can we restore confidence in the financial system and the banking system? And if this is, that is why we have to act in several fronts, not only stimulating global demand, but also addressing the issue of the financial uh, sector, also resisting any kind of protectionism, because one of the problems now is trade. I just today I, I received uh, in the Commission, Pascal Ami, who gave me the latest figures about trade, and it's worrying what's going yeah. on, also because there is less finance for trade. Some important countries in the world now, they are having less than 50%. Of trade. Some of the exporters and importers do not trust now some of the big banks to have the credit they need for trading. So we also have to address the issue of finance for trade. So it's a very complex issue and I believe it's not with um, this kind of uh, uh, reaction that we are going to solve it. As uh, the President of Business Europe said very rightly, we need the social dialogue. We need more than ever now we need, at European level we are doing that, by the way I met recently several times with Business Europe and the representatives of the trade unions, European trade unions and others, but it is important at national level too, that we understand that this crisis requires not only the action of the public authorities, the, public, the European institutions and the national governments, but those social partners. The societies have to mobilize and to find new ways of addressing what is indeed an important crisis. And I think it's through cooperation, through dialogue, is not through confrontation that we are going to solve this crisis.